Hi everyone. I'm Vinita and we're at the Think Kitchen Studio. Uh, since the festive season is just around the corner, I have decided to show you some easy recipes. Some of them are traditional recipes with a twist. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you today gajar ka halwa. Now most of us associate gajar ka halwa with being loaded with milk, ghee, mawa and usually uh, it's cooked so much that most of, most of the nutrition is lost. So today we are going to make gajar ka halwa by steaming it. Uh, I'm going to be using the Royal Prestige Innovate Dutch oven and um, I have one of these at home and uh, they're completely safe. They're made out of surgical stainless steel and the nutrition is kept intact because the temperature never goes above 100 degrees. Um, we're using grated carrots and we're going to add this to our Dutch oven. The Dutch oven can also have this attachment which is the steamer which you can add on top. Uh, the Dutch oven allows that because of its depth and all you need to do is put your veggies into the steamer. So I'm putting the grated carrots into this and I'm going to cover it and let it do its job for about 2-3 minutes. That's it. So just after 2-3 minutes, our carrots are already steamed. I want to show you how the color of the carrots hasn't changed much which is also an indicator that the nutrients are intact. And it's so nice to have fresh looking carrots in your gajar ka halwa rather than the ones which are cooked to death. I really don't enjoy that kind of food. So I'm going to just transfer everything from the steamer into a bowl. And now here's the fun part. We're going to be using cashew butter. This is just roasted cashews which has been made into a butter and this is the fat that's going to make this dish taste like the real thing. So we're going to add it into the steamed carrots and you might say oh isn't this too many calories Vinita. So I always like to say aren't we forgetting ghee, mawa and milk also contain calories and this comes without too much of the bad cholesterol and it's only going to be eaten really not even more than a teaspoon per person because it's going to be divided in the whole dish. So I'm going to add this and a bit of coconut milk and uh, I'm going to mix this all together so that the cashew butter and the milk gets nicely mixed and slightly cooked also with the steam. So I've uh, transferred it into a bigger bowl and have mixed the cashew butter and the coconut milk. Uh, to sweeten this, we're going to use finely chopped de-seeded dates. Uh, now dates are really good, everybody knows. And uh, whether you're a diabetic or not, it's always a good form of getting iron into us. And the reason I've not made a date paste, which I could, is the color of the gajar ka halwa would change. So I've just got these cut into small bits and we're going to mix this in and some raisins and these are some roasted and slivered almonds which I'll be adding I'm going to keep half for the garnish and now I'm going to give this a quick mix and after this, I'm just going to shut the gajar ka halwa for a few minutes for all the flavors to come together. And while it's still warm, that's when we can serve it. If you like cold gajar ka halwa, by all means, put it in the fridge and then serve it. Uh, after a couple of minutes, when it's all together, the fat, the sweeteners, we'll now do the last garnishes. Uh, some slivered pista, the remaining of the almond slivers and of course our most favorite ingredient elaichi powder. I always prefer putting this right at the end because it doesn't require any cooking or steaming and it brings out the flavor even more when you do it at the end. So our gajar ka halwa is ready. Usually you slave over it for hours but this was ready within a few minutes and it's nutritious, it's healthy, it's sugar free. So by all means go out and enjoy this festive season. If you like this recipe, please share, like and subscribe, Think Kitchen and Down to Heart. Keep watching.